How to feed a crow? But isn't it bad to feed wildlife? Don't they become dependent on humans and stop their natural behavior? Crows are cultural followers. They have adapted excellently to our urban environment. As omnivores, crows eat everything. Especially in our cities, they find food that is not healthy for them in our waste. For example, spiced food, bread or sweets. So if you offer your resident crow couple some additional healthy food, you are not hurting, but supporting them. As a result, crows will not stop foraging for food. This is part of their natural behavior. And the crows will definitely not ask every human for food. They are very intelligent birds and are able to distinguish human faces. This means, even if they trust you, they will continue to be cautious with other humans. But don't crows kill smaller songbirds and pigeons? While it is true that crows will raid nests of smaller songbirds when they have the opportunity, this is part of the natural balance. Squirrel, foxes, hawks, raccoons, owls, rats and of course cats like to eat nestlings and eggs too. But unlike birds of prey, crows are not specialized on hunting. Crows' nests, on the other hand, can get plundered by nest robbers too. This is the reason why crows drive birds of prey and raccoons, for example, out of their territories, which in turn benefits the smaller songbirds. Crows are therefore not a threat to songbird populations, but a healthy part of them. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, you can find two links to research in the video description. But aren't crows noisy and poop everywhere? Wouldn't my neighbors hate me if I attract crows? I definitely wouldn't recommend attracting a whole gang of crows to your garden or house. But it is perfectly fine to feed a small family unit. Crows bond for life and when they reach maturity, they have a small territory in which they stay for many years. If you live within one such territory and feed them, you will be able to build trust and form a real friendship. If you are interested in this, you should watch my video How to Befriend a Crow in 4 Steps 2. The link is up in the right corner. It's good to offer a balanced diet. Crows love dry and wet pet food. They love peanuts and other nuts. Eggs, meats like chicken, turkey and beef, mealworms, crickets, fish, seeds, fruits, you name it. My crow friends, for example, love melons in summer. Table scraps without spices and salt are fine too. Crows love to dip their food in water, so you should add a bowl of water for them to stay a little longer. Salted and processed food is not suitable. Salt causes crows to dehydrate. They can develop blood pressure or suffer kidney failure. Also, processed foods like cheese or other dairy products are not suitable. The same goes for spoiled food, chocolate or other sweets. Kaylee Swift of COVID Research recommends to feed a crow one handful of food a day. If crows are not hungry, they will hide the food away for later. Crows have a very good memory and find almost always what they have hidden before. It helps if you offer the food always at the same place and the same time, especially in the beginning. Once they know you, time is not that important anymore. The place should be safe and offer clean water. Please feed small pieces. Crows have a feeding hierarchy that we should respect. In my case, the male bird is always the first to feed and he will chase the others away until he is full. During the nesting season, he feeds his partner and the babies, so this dominance helps him to guarantee the survival of his family. If you feed a whole family the whole year round, it helps to spread the food over a wide area or in separate places to avoid stress for the birds. If you get to know each other better, you might want to try some challenges with the food. 
Crows are intelligent birds, but very neophobic too. They might be scared at first, but once they trust you, they get very determined, which is a lot of fun to watch. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share.